Hi everyone, my name is Kylie Shimabakuro. I live in Oakland and I work for the Golden State Warriors in human resources. And for me, that means I focus on the health and wellness of our front office team members. Today, I'm excited to read you a story called How to Solve a Problem, The Rise and Falls of a Rock Climbing Champion. This is a story about Ashima Shiraishi, but it's illustrated by Yao Xiao. Yao was born in China and she moved to New York in 2001. Since then, she's worked on her career to become an illustrator and cartoonist, and she actually had her graphic novel debut last year. The other reason I'm excited to read you this story is because one, Ashima Shiraishi is a real person. Uh, she was born in 2001 and started climbing rocks when she was six years old. She has done an amazing number of difficult mountains, including when she was 14 years old, climbing Mount Hiei in Japan. And that mountain has a difficulty rating of V15, which is the third most difficult in the world. And she was only the second person ever to do it. And the first woman at age 14. And the other reason I am excited to read you a story about Ashima is because you can find her on the limited edition chocolate brownie cliff bar, which is my favorite cliff bar. So let's get started. We're going to start with reading how to solve a problem. I am Ashima. What I do is climb. What I do is solve problems, which is to say, I make them mine. We climbers call our boulders problems. We also call our problems problems. And to solve them both is sort of the same. Once I had a problem and it stretched into the sky, it was tremendously endless. It was bigger than thinking. It was as huge as the air or the night or the planet. It was a problem bigger than any I had ever seen. And I have seen plenty. I'm sure we can all think of some problems right now that we faced. There were twists and turns. There were places that looked thick as glass. One part was arched like a question mark. Another part stuck out like my father's elbow in a photo I have seen of him dancing. And another was shaped like the bolts of fabric stacked in my mother's sewing room. There were many parts and none of them looked easy. I sighed and clapped my hands full of chalk, which is what I do before I solve a problem. I held this problem in my head. I mapped out every step, each place I would put my hand, and then I began to climb. Dug my toe into the dot of the question mark, jammed my fingertips, into the bend of my father's dancing elbow, kicked my leg over my mother's fabrics. And then for a moment, the world slipped out from under me. I was climbing on nothing but air. The ground beneath me rushed back. The ground beneath me rushed up and pressed into my back like the hand of a giant named gravity.
So I dusted myself off. Dad asked how I was feeling. He passed me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And for a while, we just sat there. Sometimes that's all you need, right? Is to take a break and have a snack. Then when I was ready, I looked at the problem again. With the new information the fall had given me. Each fall is a message, a hint, an idea, a new way to move from over here to over there. And so I started, and so I fell, and so I climbed again, listening to what the fall had told me. The problem that was endless, which I broke into little pieces. The problem that gave me hints with each fall. And surely and quickly, I climbed the wall. I dug my fingers there and here and stretched my arms like ropes. I threw my body through the air and caught myself in all the ways I'd imagined, a bright path of thinking. And there, at the top of the problem, I looked down at the bolts of fabric, the dot of the question mark, the bend of the elbow. And I waved hello at the memory of how hard the problem was. And I looked for one problem more. The end. And then at the end, if you have this book, you can read more about Ashima's ascent, how she got started through her first 15 years and what's coming next. The sky's the limit, both for her and for you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed reading the story with me. I know I enjoyed it. I think I learned how to solve a problem like a rock climber, and I'm definitely inspired by Ashima. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of Asian Pacific American Heritage Month and that you also continue reading and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>